immediate family spouse parents children grandparents extended family uncles aunts and cousins form part of the extended family close knit family a close family with common interests to keep in touch with to keep in contact ilt speaking part 1 sample questions and answers Question 1. Examiner, do you come from a large family? Answer, my immediate family is not very big. I have a large extended family that includes many uncles, aunts, and cousins. We are a close-knit family, and we like to keep in touch with one another, so birthdays, and other celebrations, are noisy crowded affairs. Now repeat the sentences one by one. My immediate family is not very big. I have a large extended family that includes many uncles, aunts, and cousins. We are a close-knit family, and we like to keep in touch with one another, so birthdays and other celebrations, are noisy crowded affairs. Get together. To meet up. Dear to my heart. Someone that I care about. Get to know one another. Learning different aspects of each other. Nurture our friendships. Looking after our relationships with friends. Question 2. Examiner, when was the last time you had a family function? Answer, our extended family got together last year to celebrate my grandfather's 80th birthday. He is very dear to my heart. He has kept up healthy relationships with the whole family, so it was a happy occasion that we all enjoyed. Now repeat the sentences one by one. Our extended family got together last year to celebrate my grandfather's 80th birthday. He is very dear to my heart. He has kept up healthy relationships with the whole family, so it was a happy occasion that we all enjoyed. Question 3. Examiner, would you take a friend on a family holiday? Answer, I have. My family and my best friend got to know each other quite well, as she visited me quite frequently at my home. My family believes that we should nurture our friendships, so they encouraged me to bring my friend along when we took a seaside holiday last year. My family and my best friend got to know each other quite well, as she visited me quite frequently at my home. My family believes that we should nurture our friendships, so they encouraged me to bring my friend along when we took a seaside holiday last year. To have a lot in common. To have shared interests. To hit it off. To like each other straight away. A lifelong friend. A friend that you have had for most of your life. To lose touch with. To lose contact. Arrange a dinner date. Plan to share an evening meal. To enjoy someone's company. 
to enjoy spending time with someone. Share the same ideas. To have similar opinions and views. Share a common background. The share a similar heritage or culture. Struck up a friendship. To make friends. A relationship of trust. A connection with another in which you have faith and confidence. Ilts speaking part to sample question and answer. Examiner, tell me about your best friend. To answer this question in full, discuss who the person is, the circumstances of your meeting, and what it is that you like about them. Answer, my best friend and I got to know each other when we were still very young. We lived in neighboring houses. We had a lot in common, so we soon hit it off. As we have grown older, we have moved apart. Because of this, we have to some degree lost touch, but anyone who has had a lifelong friend would understand that she will always be dear to my heart. When we do find ourselves in the same city, we arrange a dinner date, so that we can enjoy each other's company. We share the same ideas, and we share a common background. We enjoy reminiscing about our past exploits. When we struck up a friendship, as children, we were inseparable. In those early days, we built up a relationship of trust that time and distance cannot break. Now repeat the sentences one by one. My best friend and I got to know each other when we were still very young. We lived in neighboring houses. We had a lot in common, so we soon hit it off. As we have grown older, we have moved apart. Because of this, we have to some degree lost touch, but anyone who has had a lifelong friend would understand that she will always be dear to my heart. When we do find ourselves in the same city, we arrange a dinner date, so that we can enjoy each other's company. We share the same ideas, and we share a common background. We enjoy reminiscing about our past exploits. When we struck up a friendship, as children, we were inseparable. In those early days, we built up a relationship of trust that time and distance cannot break. To have a good working relationship. To work together well. Extend the hand of friendship. Reach out to someone in a friendly manner. Professional relationships. The relationships that we have in the workplace. Distant cousins, people who share a common ancestor but are not closely related, long lost friend, a friend that you have lost contact with, face to face, in person, long term relationships, a committed relationship between partners. Stand the test of time to last a long time. A shoulder to cry on. Someone to sympathize with you.
Ilt speaking part 3 sample questions and answers. Question 1. Examiner, do you think that after our friendships between working colleagues are appropriate? Answer, I think that it is important to have a good working relationship. Colleagues should extend the hands of friendship to newcomers in the workplace. I don't believe, however, that professional relationships should extend into the domestic domain as this may affect office politics. Now repeat the sentences one by one. I think that it is important to have a good working relationship. Colleagues should extend the hands of friendship to newcomers in the workplace. I don't believe, however, that professional relationships should extend into the domestic domain as this may affect office politics. Question 2. Examiner, do you think that social media is changing the way that we relate to our friends and family? Answer, in some ways yes. Social media allows us to build up relationships with distant cousins, even with those that live on foreign soil. It also helps us to make connections with long-lost friends, who we may never have spoken to or seen again. On the other hand, we often spend far too much time on our digital devices instead of socializing face to face. Now repeat the sentences one by one. In some ways yes. Social media allows us to build up relationships with distant cousins, even with those that live on foreign soil. It also helps us to make connections with long-lost friends, who we may never have spoken to or seen again. On the other hand, we often spend far too much time on our digital devices instead of socializing face-to-face. -face. Question 3. Examiner, do you think that people who enter into a long-term relationship should continue with their friendships from their single days? Answer, I think that it is important to nurture our friendships whether or not we are in a long-term relationship. Not all relationships stand the test of time, and if you have relationship problems you may one day need a shoulder to cry on. In my view, too many people abandon their friends when they become involved in relationships. I think that it is important to nurture our friendships whether or not we are in a long-term relationship. Not all relationships stand the test of time, and if you have relationship problems you may one day need a shoulder to cry on. In my view, too many people abandon their friends when they become involved in relationships. Spouse, parents, children, grandparents, immediate family, uncles, aunts, and cousins form part of the extended family. Extended family, a close family with common interests. Close knit family to keep in contact, to keep in touch with, to meet up, get together. Someone that I care about, dear to my heart. Learning different aspects of each other. Get to know one another. Looking after our relationships with friends. Nurture our friendships. 
to have shared interests, to have a lot in common, to like each other straight away, to hit it off. A friend that you have had for most of your life, a lifelong friend, to lose contact. To lose touch with. To lose contact. To lose touch with. Plan to share an evening meal. Arrange a dinner date. To enjoy spending time with someone. To enjoy spending time with someone. To enjoy someone's company. The share a similar heritage or culture. Share a common background. To make friends. Struck up a friendship. A connection with another in which you have faith and confidence. A relationship of trust. Reach out to someone in a friendly manner. Reach out to someone in a friendly manner. Extend the hand of friendship. People who share a common ancestor but are not closely related. Distant cousins. A friend that you have lost contact with. Long lost friend. In person. Face to face. A committed relationship between partners. Long term relationships. To last a long time. Stand the test of time. Someone to sympathize with you. A shoulder to cry on.